This local sports report is brought to you by the Victus Academy, building excellence in academics, hockey, and leadership. Check out their website for more information at victusacademy.com or give them a call at 519-219-5900. It was a special Saturday for the Waterloo Wolves minor midget program with six of their players being drafted, including star forward Evan Klein, who joins us now. Congratulations, Evan. Fourth round of the Saginaw Spirit. Uh, a great accomplishment for you. Where were you when it all happened, and what was the excitement like? Thank you. I, I was in my kitchen. I was watching Netflix, and on my phone I had um, the draft going on, and I was just waiting for my name to come, and I popped up. I was kind of, like, in shock. I'm like, wow, this is actually my name. And I was kind of happy. My mom's just like, Evan, Evan, because she's in the other room watching it. And she's like, did you see that? And I'm like, yes, sir, I saw that. Now we're all just excited because saying that's a great place to go. And I'm happy with everything. And it was just an experience, like, it's kind of hard to describe, right? What was your immediate reaction when you saw it was the Saginaw Spirit? I, I kind of like, I was just like, my immediate reaction, I saw my name. I didn't even see what team was up next. I was just like, that's that's me and I was just like yes because saying it's a great team great organization and they're just all around a great great place and I uh I know someone there I know he enjoy he's enjoying it there and I'm like look I know someone that's perfect and it's just a great great everything right so I was overall extremely excited and I think it's the culmination of all the years of hard work that you've put mm -hmm. in uh, we all saw you as a star player in that line with Andy Reist and Lucas Carson this year with the Wolves but to, it's got to be just so gratifying when you see your name there. Uh, what does it mean to you and your family um, when you look sort of back and think about all the things that you've been through in, in order to get to this day? Well, for me, I like my hockey career didn't really start till three years ago because I wasn't playing AAA or anything, right? So until then, like I was kind of just going through everything. But once I started to like make AAA and year by year, I was just it is just like something new every year and it was it was it was fun to just see how my work always pays off each year how i got better how how like everything just started to come together as one what are your strongest assets in your mind obviously your shot is so key you've got a laser you can wire it and we saw that in the highlights on 519 this year but when you look at your own game and you do a self assessment what do you say your biggest assets are that you could potentially take to Saginaw in the coming years well for sure my shot um my physical play, my aggressiveness, and truly my size, because I can really like move the game when I start playing the body, right? And it, it tends to like change the pace and whatnot. And some it could be like with my shot comes the scoring ability, right? Because it's it's I have a strong shot and it could be hard for goalies to read, right? Which can cause rebounds or even goals. What does it say about the Water the Minor Midget program? Six players, including two of your line mates, like I mentioned, Andy Reese going to the London Knights, Lucas Carson going to the Guelph Storm. But overall, when you look at six players from this team being drafted, and I think there could have been a couple of more as well, but what does it say about what this program is doing to develop players, Evan? It's an excellent program, um, great staff, great everything, right? It's, it, they pretty much say, like, they're pretty much developing players to be young men, almost young men and starting their new career somewhere else with junior eight right? and it goes on from there thing you learned the most from the coaching staff what was it um to always stay positive because you never know what, like what's going to happen or like this year with the ohl cup right it's it was sad and you just nothing can do about it right so what are the highlights of the year as you look back obviously making the ohl cup was one of them and unfortunately like you said it didn't happen but Right now, that's the world that we live in. But that series win over here on Perth, obviously, I would imagine, has won the series win, uh, the five-game hard-fought battle yeah. against London. But overall, for you, you know, what stands out? Maybe it's something off the ice for you that was one of the highlights, too. It, it was the kids on the team. They're all great people. Um, it was practices, pregame suey. Uh, that was always fun. Um, interviews with Darren. I, was, I always got it going, right, because we like to mess with each other a little bit. And it was just it was just the environment. Like after like, after game wins were awesome. Mac had a special dance and everything. And it just it was just all around. I, I can't really say I have a favorite part. It was everything was my favorite about it. Uh, Victus, the Victus Academy, obviously playing a role in your development as well. Uh, you know, part and parcel with the Waterloo Minor Midget Program. What can you say about the staff and your friends at Victus uh, that helped you as well? Because that's certainly 
another one of the reasons why you were drafted in the fourth round by Saginaw. Yeah. Um, to some of the kids, my friends in my class, um, they're all great players. They always push you to be your best uh, when you're working out. Um, like my buddy Tristan Bouchard, we always in like the workout room, we always push each other to do better. We always pretty much essentially workout buddies, right? Because we try to make each other max effort, max weight. And on the ice, it's the same way. We always try to push each other in different ways. And, and it's on ice coaches, off ice coaches, right? Because they're watching your game and they're telling you to change what to do and they they really do care about you there and even the classrooms too teachers really do make an effort to like to help you out yeah and it made a difference for you obviously throughout the last couple of years being a part of victus who are some of the other people that had an impact on you give your shout outs evan just to those people that i might not have mentioned who allowed you to be drafted because it takes a long time it takes a lot of work and i'm sure a lot of people along the way you know made a major difference in you getting drafted to the ohl um first one would be joe underwood he started with me and i was housely and helped me get all the way up supported me all the way through and my old coach joe and uh, joe sorry um connor first triple a coach he was he was great to me an inspiration always looked at my back always had my back and was just a great person and neil martin um again i started with no experience in working out or anything and he he made me somewhat like a completely different person he changed my life and everything and i am very grateful for that a very nice thing to say about depth training and all those people you just mentioned evan extremely happy for you we're all happy for you here at 509 as well congratulations fourth round of the saginaw spirit and we'll chat soon hey thank you for more highlights, visit our website, 519sportsonline.ca. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel and follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter.